Hey everybody, it's Brian back in this video with another, well, with some sad news actually. Um, I thought I should acknowledge the passing of Glenn Webb, uh, which is really unfortunate. Um, I found out through Shardimus Prime's video about it. Um, you can check that out in the link below. Um, uh, I didn't even know the guy or talk to him at all. I just watched his videos. I'm just a subscriber. But I just wanted to do this, you know, a bit of an homage to him in my video here. And, uh, you know, I'm a bit new to this. I was hoping to go to some conventions. And he was one of the people I'd be hoping to bump into and meet in person one day. And uh, it's just really sad and strange that I'm not going to get the opportunity to do that now. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be able to fill his shoes. He had a, his own style. He was unique. He uh, mostly focused on Marvel Legends, but he had just such a, a great style for his videos. Um, and I, I drew a bit of inspiration from him, among other YouTubers, when I started my little channel. And um, uh, it's just a real shame. Um, uh, someone has set up a Patreon account if you want to um, donate something to his family. Um, check that out. I put a link to Glenn's channel below. Uh, sadly, he was just shy of his 100,000 subscribers. Um, didn't get to see that, but he's up to about 110,000 as I uh, record this. I uh, just wanted to say, you know, check out some of his videos. Um, it's a shame we won't be seeing more. Uh, Glenn, wherever you may be, may all your figures have that crazy ankle rocker pivot that you love. I'm going to miss hearing that. It's just a sad thing. Um, it's sad to lose someone in the collecting community. And uh, I just wanted to say, uh, we'll miss you, buddy. Um, sad to see him go. So on to something later. Good evening, welcome to Transfixed. This is just a quick little mod for the uh, Takara Legends Skull Cruncher if you want to change the color of his eyes. So the one thing um, I failed to mention in my other video about this guy is that his eyes are not actually as bright red as they are in the Hasbro version because they use this uh, this uh, translucent red plastic. Um, you can easily just pop this right off the ball peg of the figure to get the head off and separate the jaw. It's these um, little bits here going to these pegs so you can just carefully open the mouth and this will just snap out of place right there. And yeah, actually, I'll just do it. Okay, so there, just pry it apart slowly, and it should just come apart with no problem. Feels like it might break, but um, I've done it. That's the second time I've done it, and it hasn't, so it should be okay. Then to get this out, this actually is glued on. Um, so. It's, it sits around these tabs here, but I think there's some glue in there, so just get yourself a little, small flat screwdriver, and I was prying it out this way. Once I got that started, just carefully push down on the eyes, and it should pop loose. You can continue prying it out this way. On the sides here, there's a bit of a gap, and it will come away from those tabs. You can see, I think there's some glue marks here, so it may take you a while to jimmy it out. And then just apply some red paint or whatever you like onto the eyes. And then we'll just seat it back in place, give it lots of time to dry, of course. I let this sit uh, about 24 hours. And there we've got some nice bright red crocodile eyes. I have been corrected, this is supposed to be a crocodile, not an alligator. I wasn't sure which. I was on TF Wiki and uh, I saw references to both, but. Um, the consensus seems to be crocodile. Anyway, I think that looks a little bit better. I just use the uh, Tamiya Basic Red. Um, we could use Citadel paints, of course, too. This one's a little bit brighter, a bit of orange, I think. This is supposed to be red gore. I did not use that one. Or I could use my old friend nail polish. But um, this is probably a bit more durable. But this is what I used in this case. So that is Skull Cruncher transfixed. Thanks for watching. With this being my widest stance possible with both feet still flat on the floor. <laughs>